Do you remember in the early days of my channel when I said I wanted to use my 3D printer for uh, sorting out storage and display? And I plan on designing and printing out many more items for the gaming room to help with storage and display. See? I did say that. Recently I was facing a little dilemma in my gaming room, which I was actually able to resolve with something that I designed and 3D printed on my 3D printer back there. The issue I was facing was with how to organise my micro consoles because, funnily enough, when you get enough of them together, they take up more room than you could imagine. I thought surely I wasn't the only person who was facing this problem, so I thought I would document my experience in a little something that I'd like to call Wow, no expense bed there. Anyway, this is what happened. And if you've got a number of micro consoles yourself, I hope this helps you out as well. Now, I don't know about all of you, but I'm rather fond of these little micro consoles that have been released over the last few years. And I'm really looking forward to the next one that's coming out in a few months time, the, what is it, the Mega Drive Mini. The problem I'm facing is that though I don't have them all, and, and trust me, I, I don't intend on collecting them all either, uh, Collectively, they take up quite a lot of shelf space. Now, it was fine in the earlier days when all I had was the RetroPie and the NES and SNES Classics, but now I've got the PlayStation TV, I've got the PlayStation Classic, and there's the Mega Drive a Classic that's coming up very soon. The ones that I have take up even more room than an Xbox. Ugh, oh, and don't get me started on all those USB and HDMI cables all over the place. They get everywhere. I thought the best way for me to deal with this would be to find a way of organising them. So I designed a 3D model for a micro console shelving unit that could be stacked beside each other or even stacked on top of each other in order to make use of vertical space. This would free up more space on the shelf for any of the other consoles. The design is based off a generic shelf model that I found online. I like the way that it could be stacked up so you could fit more things in there. I took this model and I rebuilt it to accommodate most sized micro consoles and uh, best use the space in my 3D printer. Because my printer, it's not the highest model in the world. Uh, the printing area on it is only about 15cm uh, cubed, so it's not the biggest out there. But it's just enough for my needs. Now the shelf size itself is 15 by 15 by 6 centimetres, that's 6 centimetres in height, which is uh, roughly enough even for the slightly bulkier NES Mini. Now something I liked about the original model which I've incorporated into uh, my design uh, are the open sidewalls. Uh, they're open to allow for uh, extra airflow for these micro consoles in case you've modded them or anything like that and are pushing them beyond their limits. The rear of the shelves are split in two, into which uh, any power and HDMI cables can slide into. On closer inspection, you might notice that each model has uh, little pegs at the bottom of each of the legs, uh, on each corner. But this is so that they can fit into holes on top of another shelf in order to secure them, you know, if, if you're going to stack them up. They're very simple to piece together. You can slip the power and HDMI cables through the gaps at the back and connect them into your console. Then place it down either on your shelf directly or onto another 3D printed shelf. The shelves are big enough for the likes of like the NES Mini, SNES Mini, a Raspberry Pi and the PlayStation TV of course. Uh, the only micro console I had concerns about was my PlayStation Classic. You see, it's slightly wider than the whole printing area of my 3D printer. In the end, what I did is I had it poking out a little bit on the sides of the shelf, uh, sitting on the support on the bottoms on the sides. Now luckily, all of these consoles are very light, so the shelves won't be damaged anyway. But I'd recommend, if you've got access to a larger 3D printer, you could always modify the model so it was wide enough for a PlayStation Classic as well. But, all in all, that slight snack aside, I feel the end goal has been achieved. The consoles are all stacked together, they're all organised, 
They've taken up less room on the shelf. <laughs> I'd call that an absolute win. So that's a little project that I've been working on over the last week or two. If you're interested in trying out the model, there's a link to it down below in the description. And feel free to change it in any way you want in order to suit your needs. And hey, if you try it out or if you modify it, let me know. I might be interested in trying it out myself. But anyway, I won't take you away from all of your classic games any longer. Thank you again for watching. Be sure to like and subscribe. I'll catch you all next time.